Hello there, minions. It's a wheezy again. I have got the second installment in my daughter Evie's driving school. Today, we, well, this is from the last recording session, but we followed up the initial just couple of races that we did with actually starting to go through the individual driving tests um, in Gran Turismo. Um, we ended up total spending like two hours in this session, obviously. I'm going to cut it way down to the best parts, but we got some proper dad giving advice to 13-year-old girl faces and grumpiness, um, but ultimately a really cool learning experience and uh, ultimately some smiles from her as she really kind of learned some cool new stuff about driving. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I will apologize from the first video and this video. The audio for this first recording session is kind of messed up. I managed to cause some crosstalk or something like that, so I had to filter out the high end where there was some buzz. So it kind of sounds like we're talking inside of a phone booth. Um, for future episodes, I'm gonna make sure that we get the audio in better quality. I think it's still watchable, otherwise I wouldn't really post these, uh, and I don't wanna lose these first kind of uh, setups, but anyway, I'm gonna stop running my mouth, let you get to me teaching my 13 year old how to drive in Gran Turismo, and hopefully, you guys enjoy. See you in the next one. Someday, you can be Gran Turismo champion. So, they legit, the team that developed Gran Turismo, legit have taken people that played Gran Turismo that aren't race drivers brought them in for like racing competitions. Like that's how good of a simulator these games are. This shit literally does translate into how you would drive a car. You're gonna be able to drift and counter steer and all that shit. You're gonna know the difference between how a front wheel drive car drives versus a rear wheel drive versus receive a car. Genesis. Alright, so yeah, driving's cool. We're going to school. I'm going in a straight line. Drive to the goal. It starts off easy. But we're going to go in here and we'll make sure we get the settings right. I'm going to shift gears. Expert. <clears throat> yeah, actually, that's what we want. Matter of fact, we're even going to modify it. Yeah, you want the left stick to steer. <clears throat> yep. Like that. Yep, that's good. Okay, so go over to settings. Uh, change transmission to manual. Uh, track control off. There we go. Keep going down. Turn counter steering assist off. And then ABS is analog brakes turn off. At the circle. Then go over to the start and start. Launch your car from the standstill. <laughs> Going wow! Go now! First try. Bruh! 11 seconds. Alright. Exit. Next. Nailed the first one. Got some money. You drove a tenth of a mile. I mean, you're practically an expert. And that's all we need. We're done. Like, here's the keys to my car. <laughs> you got later. it. You got it. Peace out. Next. Operate the steering wheel. One. No, you're going to have to steer through the things. So you're going to have to steer and shift and all that stuff. It's really complicated. I'm not sure you can do it. Not that bad. Holla! I got 11 again. Didn't think it was going to be so hard, did you? That's what she said. It's going to get hard. Three. I'm gonna get arrested for these videos. <laughs> Entry. It's the same thing. Yeah you, if, yeah, you can leave it now since it's set. It's automatically gonna turn off your tr stability management analog brakes. Although, does this have hit right bumper? Well. I started slow, hold on. 
So when it starts to hit right bumper into it, there should be a cockpit view. Why? I don't like that view. That's what it looks like when you drive a car. <laughs> Go to cockpit view. That's weird. That's what it's like when you drive a car. You can see the dashboard and stuff. Car within the goal area. Oh, I'm gonna break now. This is when it starts to get more difficult. <laughs> you you laugh, but this is when it starts no, to get more I difficult. No, I know. You laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm but not you better move. You saw that I'm stuck at breaking. It spun out like five times. I have to stop. Oh, okay. We gotta go to stop. Stop. <laughs> I, <laughs> Try it again. Stop. Try it again. Yes, you have to stop. Yes, stop. You have to go and then stop. Well, I... uh, it's got a rev limiter, so no, not like in the racing. Uh... <laughs> I'm doing wrong. Do it again. So you're going to have to accelerate. And then you're gonna have to anticipate how long it takes you to brake. Brake smoothly so you don't lock up the tires. That's your ghost. Start. Okay, you're gonna start braking earlier. The idea is to stop right inside that zone. Accelerate as fast as you can, and then brake so that you stop just inside the zone. Brake. You can brake a little bit harder than that. So accelerate harder, and then brake hard. That's a slight, that's gonna lock up my tires. Find where it locks it up, and if you start to hear your tires lock up, then let off just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you, yeah. We slam on them just enough to where your car slows down as fast as possible without locking up the tires. So what anti-lock brakes do is if it feels that the tires are starting to lock up, it'll fight you, it'll pump the brakes so that the tires don't completely lock up. It's good to know how to do that yourself. A, in case you're in a car that doesn't have anti-lock brakes. You speed up more in a brake. Yeah, which is not very common these days. Or two, just it helps when you're braking on ice to know because your analog brakes won't always understand. So it's good to know how to do this and not rely on your car to do it. Plus, not relying on analog brakes actually allows you to drive faster. Brakes. Just slam on your brakes, but not too hard. Just I, slam on your brakes. I it all the way down. Did you just lock them up all the way? I don't know. Huh? Fair enough. It works. Don't worry. You'll you'll figure out when you start trying to brake while you're driving and stuff like that. You'll figure out if you're locking them up because you'll slide off the track. Like I did multiple times. Yeah. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters. Money. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you and I both in the same thing. The fuck? Music is coming out on both sides of the speaker. What the shit? <laughs> High powered cars? Oh god. Ooh, a Bugatti Veyron. So for a while, this was the fastest car in the world. Really? What's mm. fastest now? Uh, I think it's the Koenigsegg 
something. That's gonna be my car. <laughs> the Koenigsegg, the fastest car in the world? I think it costs like, I don't even know, two million dollars maybe? Yeah, whatever. Whatevs. What a gaudy interior, holy shit. So you don't have traction control either, so you have to make sure you're not completely spinning out the tires. Mm -hmm. But it has all-wheel drive, so... Bronze! Nailed it! That's fair. I cannot believe it. I thought it was closer than it was. <clears throat> Went off the brakes! <laughs> so when they start to lock up, let off. Yeah, you haven't even stopped yet. You're still rolling. You're still not stopped! Oh, back up. It's gonna make you go into the zone. Okay, so downshift until it goes to reverse. Now, gas. It's the same pedal to go backwards as it is to go forwards. Alright, now stop. Nailed it! 32 seconds. Alright, try again. So do I have to stop even earlier then? Like, really you gotta stop early? in the zone. So I just stop really early. Don't lock up the tires. I don't. So if you start to hear the tires starting to scream at you, slowly let off the brake until they stop screaming, and then squeeze them. Bingo bongo. Almost. Like, because I start slamming it, and they're like, oh. Yeah, that's where you gotta get the feel for it. It's easier to feel, obviously, in a car where you can actually feel the car, but... You can understand the concept first, get the feel for it later. <clears throat> yeah, you didn't break quite hard enough. <laughs> so what you want to do is accelerate as hard as you can, and then when you decide to start braking, brake as hard as you can, but without locking it up. Break, 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 break. Let off, let off a little bit. If you start to lock it up, just let off. When you're like doing laps and stuff like that, it can be helpful. Break, break, break. <laughs> so you don't pump like all the way off, right? Like there's a the full range of motion on that trigger works. You went too far. Now go forward. There you go. Use the the visual markers too, like the cones and stuff, to determine when you should start breaking. Break. Don't coast. Be accelerating or be braking. But when I slam it, it locks up immediately. Well, you still have to do. Coasting isn't helping you with that, right? Accelerate as hard as you can. When you start braking, brake hard, but only pull the trigger like halfway or whatever, so it's not locked up. No. What? Alright. I'm close when I. Uh, if you go too far, just hit options. Like, no matter how it is. Okay. No, that's good. You're doing, you're doing it right. But just it keep doing it. Immediately locks up. How do I not lock up? Finesse it. No, finesse it. You're good. Kind of, when you start braking, kind of gradually squeeze consistently until right when it starts to lock up, and then let off just that little bit. When you're letting off, you're letting off just a little too much. In reality, what you'll do if you lock up your tires is you'll kind of let all the way off the brake and then gradually put it back on. No, it wasn't. Like twice. Exactly. If it starts to lock up, you got to get the wheels rolling again by letting the brake off and then brake again. You brake faster when you're not sliding. Bingo bongo. It's not going to be perfect, right? Because you can't brake maximum braking until you find that limit, right? <laughs> you had the right idea, but you were just like, oh, yeah.
Whatever, I did it. You did it. Okay, we can move on. That's fine. I, I wasn't joking. The braking part is when it starts to get harder because you have to be able to control the car. All right, we can do a couple more and then we can stop. How about, yeah, let's finish off the first row. How about that? Turn. Try turning a corner. I know, it's getting crazy now. Okay, so there's something that you... I know why turns are faster. That's not right. I feel like I need well, to find my Grand Turismo why? manual. We'll do that for the next one. I'll pull the you manual said, out. Like, when I talked to you in the car, you said that, like, hugging the corner is not bad. So, out, in, out is the easiest way to remember it, right? When yeah. you have the road. So, the so like inside of the turn, turn, there's a point that's referred to as the apex. And the idea is you want to start wide, hit the apex as you come through, and then accelerate on your way out of the turn, back wide again. I'll show you the, the thing that helped me the most was actually the manual for a Gran Turismo 2. It has a really good explanation of those things. Um, okay, so there's the braking cones, and then you're going to want to... Although, actually, I don't think you're going to have to brake for this turn. Downshift, because you're going slow. Okay, downshift. I shouldn't have said anything about the cones. I confused you. That's my bad. <laughs> Stay out of it, Dad! You're speeding, you're grounded. <laughs> so that phone is the apex, basically. And it's already out the other side. <clears throat> Alright, so what you want to do is start outside, cut inside on the turn, and then accelerate back to the outside because your maximum acceleration will bring you back out to the edge of the road. You're gonna have to let off the gas a little bit. You probably won't have to brake for this turn, but you will have to let off the gas a little bit. Almost. Pretty good. Bongo. Let's watch this beautiful replay. Like she's been driving her whole life. Like she wasn't spinning Ferraris off the track. Ten seconds. And that wasn't bad. That was good. Yeah, pretty clean that turn. Like, that looks like when you turn. Yeah, clean turn. Yeah. Well, probably not. Legitimately, the way that the game calculates speed, that was actually probably faster. It just doesn't feel as fast when you're not moving. <laughs> do you want to keep going or do you want to stop there? Alright, well, let's keep going. <laughs>